Good morning, Newbridge family and friends. So the Senate did sign off on it uh, late last night. The House is expected to sign on the stimulus package uh, probably tomorrow. So a couple of things here. Uh, number one is the stimulus checks. So the phase outs um, are in place and uh, it begins at 150 for married couples and goes up to 199. If you make over than that, if you're just a uh, married couple, not gonna receive a check. If you have dependents though, that will actually push, push the uh, phase out a little bit higher. So you may expect to receive a couple of dollars there. For every $100 over the threshold, you lose $5. $5. So you just do the math until you're, you don't get a check, or you might. Um, basically though, an important point here is that the payments are based on your 2020 uh, adjusted gross income. It is adjusted gross income is what it's, it's based on. Um, but they obviously won't know that yet. So that'll be reconciled when you file your 2020 return. So if, if you made too much, they'll actually could take some money away. If in 2020, you actually made less than you did in 18, you'll, act, you'll get a tax credit and it'll reduce the taxes that you're, that you owe in that year. So you will receive the benefit. Um, uh, it could just be later. Unemployment has been supersized. So number one, it's been extended pretty much through the rest of the year. And uh, you actually, for the first four months, to help with cash flow, there'll be an additional $600 a week. That That is what's, what held it up for vote, but uh, you will get an additional $600 a week for, for the first four months in, uh, in unemployment. Going on a retirement, uh, if you have a required minimum distribution due in 2020, no longer required. Um, so that is that is gone. In addition, um, the 10% penalty is waived for individuals that need to take money out of their IRA to help for household expenses and things along those lines. Um, in addition, the taxes that would be due, because it is considered ordinary income, the taxes that would be due is actually spread over three years. Just keep in mind though, if your income is expected to be significantly less um, in 2020, it may make sense to just pay that tax bill in 2020 when your income is less. Um, student loan payments, they're suspended and interest will not accrue through September 30th. So again, just to help with household cash flow for the next few months. Uh, the big thing I think is the small business where they can uh, borrow money um, to help pay for you know payroll, uh, mortgage expense, utilities, things along those lines. If they're able to maintain their, their workforce, that actually will become a forgivable loan. Um, so it'll be more like a grant money. So that's a big thing. They also are doing it for big corporations as well as they can, if, is, if they can maintain their workforce, um, they actually get it as a credit against the taxes due. So that could be a very good thing. In addition is payroll taxes. So payroll taxes are extended um, for some time where you're not gonna have to pay that 6.2% for, for, for FICA um, um, for a period of time. So that's good just to sort of, again, provide additional cash flow for these next few months so that we can just get through um, uh, this virus. And uh, also too, with the Small Business, business Administration, there's you know no uh, guarantees, uh, there's uh, no personal guarantees are required, no loans. They're making it much easier to get access to capital to be able to fund your business over this period of time. That's all good news. Um, I don't expect many changes when the House passes or when the House reviews it before they pass. If there are any, I will be sure to communicate this. But once the House has passed it, President Trump has signed it into law, I'll provide a written summary. Um, uh, but again, it looks good. There's a lot of good stuff in this. Uh, it's chock full of details. Uh, so um, as these details become known, I will be communicated. But otherwise... I've spoken long enough, stay healthy, speak soon.